Today I will review a fun sport application that may be used, used for prediction of the results of the European Championship in 2020. Okay, the application present that interactive brackets with the results of the matches and the scheduled date days when the matches should be played. Uh, right, uh, so that application starts from the round of 16 and it will end with the champion of the Euro 2020. To the left we have the winners from the groups or winners. To the right we have the rest four of the groups where we have the teams that have reached the round of, of 16 right there with their players and we have two bottom buttons one is for the historical results and one is for a random result okay if i press the h button button it will make the historical result and if i play press the empty squares for the result, it will make a random result. Now, because some of uh, the meetings are to be made, for example, today we will watch France against Switzerland and Spain against Croatia. So, these are to be announced, but yesterday and the day before yesterday, we have a few matches that have been played, so the results have the historical bottom. bottom. And so, again, it can be used for, for prediction or for historical records, or like Almanach. And that is all in the screen. There is no need to open a lot of pages to check the results of the matches and other things, everything is right here in this fun application. And now I will ask my computer, because my computer will generate those res results for the matches that are not yet played, who will be the champion in Euro 2020. Now first I will play the historical records where I have one, and the match between Belgium and Portugal was very strange when the, the Belgium won it. Okay, we have another that have been played, that is Italy against Austria. And that is Italy winning with 2-1. And we have two teams for the uh, round of four. That should be quarterfinals, right? Okay, uh, now I will because I don't have the results from these two matches that will be played today at the evening, so tomorrow that application should be updated with the results of those matches. So I will play a random result between France and Switzerland. And the computer said that France will win with 3-0. Now let's see what will the computer say about Spain and Croatia, and that should be what? 0 2 for Croatia? Interesting. And the, sec the second quarter finalists should be France and Croatia. Now let's go to the right. Again, I have two historical results that is Netherlands against Czech Republic, where the Czech won, and Wales against Denmark where Denmark won with 0-4 and the third quarter finalists are Czech and Denmark. Now let's see those two very interesting meetings that will be played tomorrow. That is Sweden against Ukraine and that is maybe the most exciting match. England against Germany their eternal struggle. <laughs> we'll see who will be winning this time. 
Okay, I will play the first match and the computer said that Ukraine will <laughs> beat Sweden with 0-2. Okay, and now let's see that interesting thing, what the computer will say. And the computer said that England will win against Germany with 3-1 results. And that is the fourth quarter finalist, Ukraine and England. Of course, again, these are uh, fictional results, it is for fun prediction. And where we have a random result, it will show R, and where we have a historical result, it will show H, again, uh, above the result, result, result. Uh, okay, <laughs> English, English. Now let's play those quarterfinals. The first one, Belgium against Italy, let's see who will win this. It is locked, and the computer said that Italy will win with 1 by 3. And we have the first semi finalist. Let's see the second semi finalist. That should be I'm pressing right here Croatia again with 3 1. Well, this is too fictional, <laughs> those two results. Okay, and let's see the next semi-final couple that will be Czech against Denmark Trrrrn. Denmark will win with 2-0 ok and let's see Ukraine against England ok England won with 3-1 ok what I see here is 3 by 3-1 hey computer how do you think this out? Alright, well, <laughs> as long as I can remember, there are a lot of ways to predict results from the championships. I remember now there was a cat that was telling who will win the championship. And now here I have a computer that telling me this. And let's play the first semi-final match, that is Italy against Croatia. And it is... Okay, 1-0 for Italy. And Italy is the first finalist. Okay, I believe if the computer can make his senses, England should win. But, well, it's not for me to decide. So, let's see. Ah, <laughs> Denmark. Okay, and at the finals, we have Italy against Denmark. And if I press the white result squares it should generate me the champion for Euro 2020 okay well let's press it right there it is and the champion should be Italy winning against Denmark with 4 to 0 <laughs> okay it says it is fictional champion and again if the result is historical and we have played it, it will show H. And where it is fictional, it will show R. So, in the future, when all matches are completed, that application will remain as interactive almanac or the results of European football or soccer championship in 2020. Now, it is still uh, called Euro 2020 because it was postponed one year for that pandemic that we have and that should be for now and until new meetings then eventually.